this land came available in 1930 and my grand grandfather wanted to buy it but he didn't have any money so he went to my grandfather and said he had a chance to buy this property down in St. Andrews and asked him how much money he had and he said he didn't have any either but he thought my grandmother had about $75 so they didn't tell her what it was for but they, they, they took it from her and bought this property for $75 in 1930. Well, they ended up putting their first fish market down here and, and uh, oysters were a nickel a dozen, red snapper was 10 cent a pound. Things come a long way since then. My dad opened up his first restaurant. He was in the school system and, and had summers off, so he opened up his first restaurant on the beach in 1964. And uh, I was less than 10 years old, and, and when your family own a restaurant, there's always something for you to do, because I've got a six-year-old that helps around here, so you don't have to worry about a job going up. My grandmother, she started sewing here, in the early 30s, no, early 40s, my grandmother started sewing in the first building right here, and uh, she was a seamstress, and uh, this was kind of the, the hangout for the women back then. This was the gossip shop. This is where all the women in St. Andrews got together, and unfortunately, she passed away a couple months ago, and we still have people ask about her as they come in because they don't see her here anymore, but we will miss her, but she had a good life. My grandfather retired from the Bay Line. He let my grandmother, after they got out of the seafood business, he let her run St. Andrews and he went to work on the Bay Line.